Good evening, everybody. It is Lasha from High Voltage. How are all my, not my, how is our hub, hub? You know what my mother said today, which I thought was really interesting. One of the books that I'm really excited to read very, very soon is Andrew Gold's Psychology of Secrets. And he is um, on YouTube and he has a channel called On the Edge and Heretics. He's all over my page. And he was on Pierce Morgan, Uncensored. And my mother said to me, YouTube is almost like a cult, a cult following. And I thought to myself, that's interesting like movie stars. Then I started to think, Sarah, you're right. My mind races a mile a minute. There's reasons for that though. I've got a lot of steps to take to Ottawa. And I think that my mental health has changed since that femur accident. You all know about it. I didn't hit my head. That's not the problem. I was talking about things standing the test of time. For instance, wanting to pick up where Cheer Denise left, left off. Um, and this is absolute compliment to her channel. There's not a video I've missed of hers. If anything, Lady Colin Campbell helped boost her because she took such a strong stance, Cheer Denise did. And I am an absolute admirer of her intellect, her wit, her ability to tell stories like nobody else. Do you know, in fact, when I finish the story, The Lady with the Little Dog, which is about Sophie and I, and also, I'm not sure what to call the hospital situation in the last seven years. The seven deadly sins. Huh. Right there. The seven deadly sins and the lady with the little dog. Well, the first paragraph I thought was quite good. And you can find that. And I think it says first paragraph of the short story about it's, it's right on the uh, videos. My videos don't get as many views as the, the shorts. However, it's hard to keep people's attention for long periods of time. But speaking of time is a good segue back into the test of time. And I want to leave off or pick up where Cheer Denise left off. And where Cheer Denise left off, what am I talking about? Lady Colin Campbell and Cheer Denise. Cheer Denise was reading The Real Diana or, or Her True Story. And there's two books, many books written about Diana. And when I went to the library last week to pick up Becoming and the uh, story about the Auschwitz survivor, the beautiful life of an Auschwitz survivor, the fact that he could take that human atrocity and turn it into a beautiful story about him. And a lot of um, survivors from the camps, ha I don't know why I say camps, maybe it was from reading The Exorcism of M Annalise Michael. I keep going back and forth on that book, but um, sorry, I just lost my train of thought the uh standing the test of time okay so the reason i'm having conflicts about the exorcism of annalise michael is because the ending is is more gruesome than the um movie it's a little more detailed with the autopsy and everything so i don't know i don't know i don't know if it's the right thing that i want to put out into the world the other thing is Cheer Denise does such an excellent job and she has a book club. And ironically, when I started my channel, um, March 23rd of 2023, and the first really good video I did was September 
23rd of 2023. And that was the very first channel, Lasha Rajenko, and there were 33 people and it went up to 58 after that one Russell Brand piece I did. And I was just blown away. And Ed was my very first comment. And the, one of the other very first comments I got was, I said, do you know what this movie is from? And there were about 15 or 25 comments and I hadn't been able to respond to people before. That was sort of the first video when the Russell Brand um, shakedown happened. And why am I smiling about that? It's not funny. But what I guess I'm trying to say is the way I told that story, the way in which I told it, I, I created notes. It was in chronological order. I knew that I was, have I was having trouble staying on track. But I just wanted, why am I telling you this? Because I remember everything. It just goes from story to story, but each story does get tied up into a neat knot. Maybe it's a form of autism. I don't know. <clears throat> Does anybody know what that is? It's a nervous habit that autistic people have just as we bite our nails, pick our nails, play with our hair, groom. It's a stimulation. I learned that from watching the accountant with um Oh, the actor that was in The Wolf of Wall Street, and he played the mooch, the mooch, the, the quaalude of, of Bayshore. Oh, I knew that guy. The first time I saw that guy in the movie with The Rock called, <gasps> I have to look this up before I share it with you. But anyway, what I am talking about right now Oh, I was doing so well, staying on track. <clears throat> I'm going to review this video, but I came online to do this or make this one point out of everything you've heard. It'll come back to me in a moment, okay? The standing the test of time. I'm picking off where Cheer Denise left off because she got attacked by Lady Colin Campbell by questioning a narrative, Lady Colin Campbell's version versus the narrator of the piece of footage that she found in reference to this Diana Charles incident. Now, Cheer Denise is not a joke. She reads full books. I am talking, she read Spare. She read Revenge. She read um, The Traitor King. She read um, Britney Spears, The Woman in Me. Um, tales we tell ourselves during the Johnny Depp De De trial which i thought was very fascinating because tom s or hunter s thompson was johnny depp's friend right that's five books she also read uh uh the parable park that's six books and that's the wrong name of the book but it was by zen tyler he's a really good youtuber Apparently, there's two brothers. I, I, I didn't, um, I mean, I liked and, and I listened to some of it, so at least she got a view from it, but um, I didn't really get into it, but it was, it was a really good book, but she's an excellent book critique, cr uh, cr uh, book critic, and she's 36 or 34 years old, and she has three children. She's a teacher. She's married. She's so interesting. Her channel is Cheer Denise, C-H-E-E-R-E, -E -E, Denise. Um, then she read, she does not read um, um, simple books. 
the Trader King, and now she's reading the Mount Battens, and then she was reading Lady Diana, the True Story. So what happened was I put it up on my videos, and the, the video that has the most views is this situation about Lady Colin Campbell and Denise, because I did a live that I did not think that anybody would watch. I only did it to vent for myself, to be honest with you. And uh, 1,500 people watched it and were just killing me on the fact that I was just such a bitch for sticking up for Cheer Denise. <clears throat> and now she doesn't heart my comments anymore. I was with her right from the beginning, her first page of spare. And I started to do what she was doing, reading books with the Testaments. Um, <clears throat> Margaret Atwood's book, After the Handmaid's Tale. I could not read like her. I thought, I can't do that, right? But this is what I was thinking tonight. This is what I can do. I want you to watch this and tell me your visceral, your visceral reaction about standing the test of time and will Johnny Depp and Amber Heard and this trial stand the test of time? Will Johnny's reputation stand the test of time in 20 years? And was Amber Heard lying? I do not believe that she was at all. I don't. She would not have perjured herself. She has borderline personality disorder. So what? So do I. So does everybody. When you experience trauma or you experience abandonment or abuse in a household, like a lot of actors, that's why they want to escape themselves. One of the things that Johnny Depp said in the trial, before I just show you this clip and what your visceral reaction is, this is... Um, the headspace of Johnny Depp. He's what, in his 60s now? When was this trial? Two years ago and he was 58. So now he's 60 something. <sighs> he promised her global humiliation. When, when he, when she, she was talking about the first time that he slapped her, did you notice his body language? Whenever he's guilty, he always does this. Whenever he's uncomfortable in telling the truth, he'll always go. He even does it in his acting. He can hardly control it, but actually he can. He's that good. However, I do not think that Amber Heard's team did a good enough job explaining what it is like to care for an addict. And I will get in, this is part one, but I will get into part two. Right now, uh, if I get a copyright, I get a copyright. But here's the thing, Netflix and YouTube, before you give me a copyright, on this Depp V Heard, just to let you know, every one of those channels during the Johnny Depp, Depp trial and the Amber Heard trial, I call it the Johnny Depp trial because it, like she was like a nothing in that trial. It was absolutely pathetic the way she was treated. And I remember watching all of them and I thought that Emily D. Baker was by far the most sophisticated and sidebar. And Andy Siegel or Seagull, who had that moment with Johnny Depp, which I understand would have been absolutely jaw dropping. So Andy, could you imagine? meeting Johnny Depp, which you did. And don't tell me you weren't starstruck because you, when you talked about that moment that you had with him, you were not faking it. 
You felt that, bro. Imagine how a young woman would have been infatuated with a man 50 years old. She's 22. And she even said at the beginning, I'm a nobody actor. Do you think Meghan Markle would have gone on the stand and said, I'm a nobody? So how people can compare Meghan Markle to Amber Heard, I have no idea. None. Um, Ellen Barkin, an experienced woman, and if you don't know who she is and you didn't watch the Johnny Depp trial, well, go look it up. Ellen Barkin said he was a jealous guy. Um, Kate Moss and Johnny Depp, which they forgot to leave out of the trial, was they had a coked up, fused, drinking relationship. Very volatile. But no, he didn't push her down the stairs. And at least when she said, I just thought of that, she wasn't thinking strategically or calculating but Johnny Depp and the lawyer were because they fist bumped each other at them. And Andy, before you go ahead and, and sue Netflix, I went on Emily D. Baker's channel to see what was going on with Alec Baldwin. And there are going to be cameras on that, and I will watch it. And I feel sick about it. Sick about the whole thing. And why? because he's been in my living room since I was a kid. You know, Ellen McPherson, um, Alec Baldwin, and Anthony Hopkins were in this fantastic movie called The Edge. And then I saw Alec Baldwin imitating uh, Robert De Niro on Saturday Night Live, okay? I'm going to get into why the defense team did not do a good enough job with Amber Heard talking about what it was like to take care of an addict because Johnny Depp has been an addict and in his fa fanatical fantasy mind, taking his mother's pills since he was 12 and drinking since that age and then at 17 becoming famous, what would your center of reality be? He has an island. Like Eric Weinstein even said on, on a podcast, I know a lot of rich people, but not a lot of rich people want islands. They're, they're expensive. It's a lot of upkeep. You know, and like Megyn Kelly said, he is an actor of the first order. Uh, the way she said it was absolutely... I've got a good memory, eh? At any rate, what is your visceral reaction to this? And before you sue Andy, and I heard Emily D. Baker say this today. She said today on her um, uh, video, now Netflix, next time you use my footage, just let me know. Andy, you're really going to sue them? They gave you so much exposure for free for your YouTube channel. <laughs> and Andy's making a documentary and they've got the real expensive cameras, like really fancy to debunk leaving Neverland. Okay, well, if we want to get everybody side, Andy, you better go get Wade and James Safe, Chuck and his family and Dan White to participate too, to get all sides. You know that, right? I don't know why I got a little upset with him. I don't know why. That was a strange visceral reaction. Okay. I was triggered by something. I'll let you know what it is tomorrow. What's your visceral, visceral reaction to this? Time op-ed entitled Amber Heard. I spoke up against Seven sexual one. violence the headline. and faced our call. That's Emily crime. D. Baker's you voice. You find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation. Answer, yes. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. Damn. Depp wins count one. I am shit. The statement was made or published by Ms. Heard. Answer, wow. yes. The state, question, the Look at her face. Answer, Look at this. Yes. Question, the 
statement was false. Answer. Look yes. at this. Question. Oh, that, that's, that's, that's great. Answer. Yes. It's going Johnny's way. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of Depp? Emily D. Baker is the best. She's very professional. We, the jury, award compensatory damages in the amount of $2 million. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, to conclude your service in this case, I want to thank you again for your dedication and your hard work during this trial. And always thank you. defamation trial announced stop okay what was your visceral reaction to that when you watched the trial be honest with yourself were you laughing crying watching studying cheering were you on what do they call it in the states um uh Camp Johnny or Camp Michael or Team Johnny or Team Herd or whatever the hell it was. No, 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 no. That woman was humiliated, you know? And I've seen pictures of TikTok where they are still at her, you know, and people tried to boycott her being in Disneyland on that stupid movie. And it was a stupid movie. The first one was stupid, too. The only funny thing about it was Nicole Kidman. And what's his name? Jason had a couple of funny moments in there, drinking the beer and that. But, okay. So then let's just fast forward to this part here. Ruling in favor of Johnny Depp. Oh, yeah. Why was the smug Johnny Depp in the UK after he dragged her butt to Virginia on camera that she didn't want and he's playing with Jeff Beck the next day and recognized Popcorn Planet and the jury wasn't supposed to notice any social media? This was trial by media, and this is Johnny Depp. This is not going to stand the test. I love Johnny Depp, but did you hear the part where he said to Amber Heard, you're going to shut up, you're going to listen to me, and then respond, do you understand? Uh, uh, yeah, okay. It went both ways. She was just really hyper. But as far as the sexual assault, I, I they are the only ones that know. And that's not something you bring up in public. That is, I can't even imagine. And you weaponize our movement against the person you had victimized. All this for what? The minute survivors heard you say, you make me do this, we knew who you really were, an abuser. And Johnny was your victim, a survivor. I'm feeling incredibly triggered and re-traumatized. 
as someone who's experienced relationship abuse in the past. Me too. But I'm not feeling triggered All on of us. of Johnny Depp. What we're seeing happen, stereotypes that are coming out, right, uh, that are calling Amber Heard a liar, glorifying uh, Johnny Depp as, 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 as this amazing man, right? Um, is the reason why Me Too started. It's the, it's, it's, it's why activists really wanted to fight for this movement and why it's so important because women didn't feel, and, and you know, survivors of all genders didn't feel like they could report, didn't feel like it was going to be welcome. What does it mean for that? Are we at the end of Me Too? Is this a reversal? What, yeah. Where are we? I mean, it's a backlash to Me Too. And what we're seeing unfold on the internet is that we're proving them right. We're, we're, we're saying that, yes, you will be silenced, you will be humiliated. I am not taking any sides. It sounds like Heard did allegedly do some pretty malicious yes, shit during the course yes, of the relationship. Yes. I am feeling some kind of way about the way that Heard is being inhumanely attacked yes. every day on a global scale. And here's what this means for victims of abuse. Fewer victims will come forward, especially if they haven't been perfect during the course of their yeah, relationship with yeah, the abuser. Yeah, that's right. So you're not the perfect victim because you did something wrong, like me. you fought back, you're an imperfect person, yeah. then the world will lob every available insult at you to get yeah. you to shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know what's interesting? Amber Heard is a beautiful, beautiful woman. But I think the other thing is that she is a little, she's, she's, she would never hurt anybody. She wouldn't kill anybody, but I could definitely see her getting scrappy. She's a scrappy chick, a little rough around the edges. So what? I've never met her, but she doesn't ghost people like Meg. I don't even know how people can compare Meghan Markle to Amber Heard. Not one clue. At least Amber Heard was honest about the surrogacy, you know? Anyways, this is a long enough video. It's a half an hour. Um, just give it some thought. And you know, there's a video that I did... Um, about nine months ago, maybe maybe even 11 months ago, and it's on Lasha Rajanko and LNL Soul Sisters and this playlist, and it's about an hour and a half, and it was one of the first videos I did, and I was trying to go down this opiate road that they went through, and, and we'll get there tomorrow, but this is just sort of part one in reflection of the Depp v. Heard trial, okay? So thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you for staying for the whole 27 minutes if you did. Also, uh, take care of yourselves. I'll do the same, and that is a wrap. And if you don't know what W-R-A-A-P-S means, it means respecting Sorry, I always get the R and the W mixed up. Welcoming, respecting aspects of all people and societies. So, you're all welcome, even those who love Trump. I think he's an orange buffoon. But if you love him, I don't care. I want to know why. There's no judgment here. <laughs> you think I had... You think I'm in a place to judge? Oh, no way. All right. I'll try to make this quality, uh, the, the, oh, you know, the quality of the video better. And Trevor, thank you for the logo. Okay. God bless. Godspeed. Whatever you believe in.